All right, guys. Good Sunday morning to everybody. This is the Iceman on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. How's everybody doing this Sunday morning? It's Football Sunday. Um, and yeah, lots and lots of uh, people talking about um, John Cena saying uh, he destroys uh, younger superstars. He's a disease. He's this. He's that. And well, I'm a John Cena defender here. Um, I see where some people are coming from as far as Cena being the World Heavyweight Champion. But we also have Randy Orton as the WWE Champion. And Randy Orton has just about as many title belts as John Cena. He's like one less than Cena. And I don't see people going around bitching about Randy Orton. And uh, you mean to tell me Randy Orton makes somebody better in this business? If he does, you tell me how. You show me where. Um, look what Randy Orton has done with the storyline with Daniel Bryan. Bryan should be WWE Champion, but guess who's WWE Champion? It's Randy Orton. So, um, if you want to uh, badmouth John Cena and say he doesn't put anybody over, um, well, look at Randy Orton. Look back at the days of Triple H. When did he ever really put anybody over? Triple H seemed to be the World Heavyweight Champion just about most of the, most of his time in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. I mean, and he held the belts for quite some time. Um, and you know, the WWE right now, having John Cena as World Heavyweight Champion, is trying to make the belt a little bit better. Uh, they want to make it look like it's a belt that people want to have. Um, and you got to understand, Alberto Del Rio has had this belt for quite some time. Um, he lost it for a very short time to Ziggler, but he retained it back. Um, and it, it was time. And yes, I do believe the younger talent needs to be pushed in the WWE. Um, I'm not sure whether it's politics that are involved uh, with them not getting the belt at this time. What the WWE has in mind, I don't really know. Uh, but... You're disliking a man that does his job, the bottom line. And I've said this on many, many occasions. You go to work each and every day, depending on what your job is. Uh, your boss pretty much tells you what you need to do, you know, on certain jobs, and you go and do it. And if you don't do it, then your boss comes back to you. You know, you could be reprimanded or whatnot. Um... And in the WWE, if you cross Vince McMahon, you're in the doghouse. Because look what happened to Dolph Ziggler. Look what's happened to Wade Barrett. Um, Ziggler just, you know, he talked out of turn. Um, he said things maybe he should have kept his mouth shut on. And look where he is today. He's really nowhere in the WWE where he was a world heavyweight champion for a very short time. And now look where he's at now. He, you know, he's wrestling for the Intercontinental belt. I mean, so what does that tell you? And yeah, you know, Cena gets a mixed reaction from the fans, and that's the thing that the WWE loves. He's getting a reaction, whether it's a good reaction or a bad reaction, but it's the reaction that matters to the WWE. And I'll tell you one thing else. The WWE isn't concerned about the reaction John Cena really gets in the ring because John Cena makes him so much money outside the ring. That's what the WWE is focused on, is what John Cena is doing outside the ring to bring in large amounts of revenue. He speaks. I mean, he was just recently at an Oxford, um, at the Oxford School. He was speaking there. Um, with all his numerous charities he attends, he promotes there's lots and lots of money coming in from John Cena on the outside. So anything that John Cena does within the ring is a plus for the WWE. It used to be where, you know, what you did outside the ring was a plus. And your main concern was what you did within the ring. But for John Cena as this individual, it's more what he does outside the ring. Because what he does outside, he brings in a lot more money than he does within the ring. Not to say he doesn't bring in a lot of money within the ring, because he does. There's reasons why the WWE has John Cena where they have him. 
He's the biggest moneymaker in the WWE. Like him or hate him, that's a fact. Now, when you compare Cena um, and you say the, all these negative things about him, why aren't you talking about Randy Orton uh, at the same time? Randy Orton, to me, is one of the most boringest people in the ring. You get him on the mic, you want to turn the volume down on your TV. Because Randy Orton has no personality whatsoever. And he botches up his scripts half the time. And he's just totally, totally boring. At least when Cena gets in the ring, he shoots from the hip. Um, things come to his mind, he spreels them off. And, you know, he is good on the mic, regardless of what people think. John Cena is one of the better mic men the WWE have today. Uh, I believe right now CM Punk probably is the best on the mic. And a lot of people would say, well, what about Paul Heyman? Paul Heyman is just an idiot that just likes to hear himself talk. But, yeah, I do understand about the younger talent in the WWE. And I am one of those that want to see that younger talent being pushed. Um, I think possibly maybe go to the WWE website or, or their YouTube page and start uh, putting up comments saying what you would want, like to see in the WWE or why isn't certain people pushed. See if you get any kind of response. Maybe if the WWE gets enough um, you know, uh, input from what the fans want, maybe, you know, just maybe, I don't know. Uh, but what the bottom line comes down to, it's a business, they're, they're in it to make money, and yes, they have millions and millions of dollars, I understand that. And, you, and one would think too, you know, alright, so it's time to get D Damian Sandow as World Heavyweight Champion. What is the working involvement behind all of this? Why, um, you know, we need to know why the WWE does things when they do things and why they don't do things when they don't do things. I mean, why is it Daniel Bryan is a WWE champion? He's one of the most popular guys on the roster. There has to be a reason behind all of this. Um, in my opinion, I think it's the egos of the McMahons and Triple H. I think Triple H has such a big influence on the McMahons, and let's face it, if Triple H don't like you, you're not going anywhere, and that's the bottom line, and, uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's got a lot to do with a lot of the inner circle, and, uh, how they feel about a particular wrestler, because in my eyes, Daniel Bryan should be WWE champion, um, and I don't see how you could say that he's bad for business, um, the fans love him, um, Vince doesn't seem to think that he's a big enough draw for a main event. You gave him one real big chance, and that was Night of Champions. And, uh, you know, he wasn't even champion there because he got screwed over at SummerSlam. They're, they're complaining about the SummerSlam buys. It wasn't Daniel Bryan and John Cena's fault. Um... It wasn't uh, CM Punk and Brock Lesnar's fault. They just didn't have a great lineup of matches below those two main event matches. And um, sometimes a lot of it has to do with the WWE with too many pay-per-views per year. Yes, we're so used to it. Um, everybody's looking forward to a pay-per-view every month. Uh, but the bottom line is, you know... When you see these pay-per-views month after month, and a lot of times you see the same two stars wrestling each other time and time again, especially throughout the week because you have three TV shows, I mean, it takes a lot away from the pay-per-view. It takes a lot away from the anticipation and the intensity of the match. Um, I, for one, three hours worth of Raw, two hours of SmackDown, and an hour of main event, that's six hours. And... Uh, what they do is a recap and recap and recap. They shove certain things down your throat to the point where when a pay-per-view does come around, you've seen so much of it already, you get that I don't care attitude. 
there's only a couple matches that intrigue you, and um, that's how it is. But again, going back to John Cena, um, it's it's not him. So I, you know, for fans to dislike him for him being where he's at, you know, you need to put some input to the WWE and let them know how you feel and what's on your mind, um, because John Cena just goes in each day, goes to do his house shows, you know, everybody knows who's going to be the winner at the outcome before they get into the ring, so he's just going in there and doing his job, so how can you fault a man for going out there and doing a job to make money? It's senseless, it's pointless. Look at the inner circle. Look at Vince McMahon. Look at Stephanie McMahon. Look at Triple H. Those are the trio that are to blame. Nobody else. This is the Iceman on a Sunday morning. Peace out, everybody. Enjoy your football day. And we have Monday Night Raw tomorrow from Nashville, Tennessee. Hopefully, it's going to be a good show. Um, you know, one has to wonder. You know, like I said, um, just have to wait and see, so. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.